How's it going everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over a new method I've started using to level up your PvP track without having to be active at your computer. But before we get into that, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. It helps out massively. Now, let's get into it. Previously, I would have always run PvP missions, 3v3s, and outpost rush to level my PvP tracks up. But a couple days ago, I found an even better way, and the best thing about it is it's completely AFK, so I can edit videos, watch TV, or do anything else while I'm earning tons of PvP XP, Azoth Salt, and flying through my PvP tracks on my way to the coveted rank of Star Metal. This method has me feeling productive in-game, even while I'm taking breaks. Even if you're not a PvP focused player, I still recommend doing this because you don't need to fight other players, and when you level up your PvP track, there's tons of great rewards from each level, like gold, named gear, and emotes. Now, let's go over this method. Firstly, you'll need to know about capturing control points. Don't worry if you don't know what that is. I'd never heard of them until a few days ago. I saw them on the Season Pass rewards track, I wanted to get them done, so I researched it, and found this awesome way to earn AFK PvP XP. In short, they are all the forts in every zone, as you see on screen. You simply need to flag up for PvP, go to one that your faction doesn't own, and then sit on the point for 15 minutes if you're alone, or if there's some other people from your faction with you, it can be capped in as little as 10 minutes. This is perfect because you're given ample AFK time to do other things, plus by the time you're done capping, your recall to inn refresh should be finished so you can just teleport to the inn and head to the next fort to continue the process. Do note that if there's red swords behind the fort, it's currently being flipped, and you can't tell if it's your team taking it or the other faction, so you can take the gamble and go there. If it's your team, it's a quick and easy bit of XP, or if it's the other faction, you might have wasted time running there. You can tell who it is as you get closer to the fort, based on the color of the glowing light shooting out above the fort. So even if it's the enemy and you don't want to PvP, you can teleport out of there without confrontation. For capturing a control point, you are rewarded with 1100 PvP XP and 300 Azoth Salt. The Azoth Salt isn't that much, but that's a huge chunk of PvP XP, and all you have to do is stand in a circle for it. Now, you may be thinking, yeah, but what if you're attacked? And that's a fair point. But I've been grinding this method for the last 3 days, and I've kept track of my progress. In 30 attempts, I captured the point AFK 26 times, and I was only interrupted and killed by an enemy 4 times. I spaced out my attempts at different hours of the day to test it too, and a massive majority of the time, I would come back to my computer 15 minutes later with the point captured. Then, I would just head to the next point and continue the process. I'm currently on a medium populated server, so maybe when the server merges happen, it might be a little less consistent, but if you're in a low pop server, then you're laughing. That being said, if you're doing this method and find yourself getting interrupted quite often, it's wise to always set up a respawn camp just outside the fort as hidden as possible, and then just respawn a few minutes later and come back and try again once the enemy has teleported out. You can also try doing it at the later hours, when less people are on, like when the OPRs and the 3v3s aren't popping because most people are offline. You can use the times when it is more popular to do your daily 3v3s and OPRs and get your PvP XP and your daily gypsums from that, and then save this method for when things are a bit quieter on the server. Along with all the PvP XP, Azoth Salt, and track rewards you will get from all of this AFK time, you'll also be making progress towards the faction point achievements, and getting those tasks done on your season pass as well. Do be warned though, you can only capture 10 points per day, after that you'll only receive 300 XP per cap. So this isn't an infinite grind method, but it's still an easy way to earn an extra 11,000 PvP XP every day, just for sitting around and waiting. That's a whole PvP track every day for free. Now, if you're wondering how this compares to other methods of earning XP, I'll go over that quickly now. PvPing in open world is incredibly inconsistent, so we'll be skipping that method since there's no way to get XP per minute numbers. As for running your PvP faction missions, that is a very viable method. There's a great video Fusion Thunder put together going over which zones are the best to do it in and how much you can make per minute from each zone. I highly recommend you watch it, and I dropped a link in the video description and it should be linked in the top right as well. But in short, Great Cleave came out on top netting you 115.75 PvP XP per minute. Therefore, you should be making 636 more XP in the same amount of time if you were capturing alone, or only 60 more XP if there's other people capping along with you. That being said, these PvP missions cannot be done AFK, so I recommend a combination of both, and doing the faction control points whenever you have something else to do so you can continue earning XP while you're away from the game. The PvP missions do however give you a lot more Azoth Salt, 
so if that's what you're mainly looking for, I'd focus more on these. Next up we have Outpost Rush, better known as OPR. This also rewards a large chunk of XP, but the matches can take anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes, so it's a large time investment, and unless you want to be a very bad teammate and go AFK, it requires a lot of activity. But even if you are AFK, you still need to hit a certain threshold to earn the rewards. If you do win your match though, you're rewarded with 2500 PvP XP and 2000 Azoth Salt. That being said, for the time investment and the amount of activity needed, I would recommend against OPR if you're looking for fast PvP track completions. But it's still a great activity to have in your daily routine to get the daily gypsums off of. And finally, we have the 3v3 arenas. Again, much like OPR, the games can take quite a while depending on team balance, and the queues can take even longer. So even though you're awarded with roughly 1000 XP for a win, I'd say it takes much longer and a lot more effort for less XP. The salt is a bit higher though with 500 per win, but out of all the methods I'd say this is the worst in terms of fast track leveling. But again, having it in your daily routine is pretty good for your daily gypsum. All in all, I'd say the AFK capture point method is the best way to level your PvP tracks, followed closely by the PvP missions. So if you are going to level your tracks as fast as possible, I'd do a combination of both and make sure to capture 10 faction points per day and then spend the rest of the time doing PvP missions in Shattered Mountain. But let me know what you think about this method. Have you known about it and been doing it yourself? I looked around on YouTube and couldn't see any videos promoting this method, so maybe it's one that's a bit overlooked. Let me know how it works out for you. The more people doing it the merrier, because captures will happen quicker, and there'll be constant fort flips, so we can all get our daily captures in quicker. Leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. But until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching another video. If you'd like to see more New World content, then click on any of the videos on screen now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.